<laughs> this is Eric, this is Eric. I got bit on the elbow by a bug. <laughs> and then that crash, she floated by my knee. I was like a bug on my leg, too. <laughs> but it wasn't, it was just the grass. Anyway, that was pretty funny. Yeah, there's these, there's some kind of crazy bugs here that'll suck your blood and they're pretty big, they're mean. Anyway, all right, here's the boat. Um, My motor, my motor is above the bed of the floor of the sea when the centerboard seems to be just slightly touching and rocking because I can move the boat around. It's not, it's not like doing it, but this ground here is hard. It is very hard, it's like rocky. Um, I thought about pushing the boat a little bit, but I look out there and it looks like it goes a ways before it starts to get deep. I really don't feel like pushing. I can wait till the tide builds up a little bit and then just motor easy out because I'm not in anything, any plants or anything. It's just hard. You don't want to turn your prop on the hard ground. If you turn your prop on the hard ground, you're going to ruin your prop and just rip it off probably or you get hurt maybe. Not good if you're by yourself to do ding dong stuff like that. I know it's got 25 horsepower. One horse is a lot stronger than me, probably. Maybe not. Maybe I'm two horses. Maybe I'm three. I don't know. But that's 25. That's definitely more than me. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, it's pushing around this boat that weighs three, four thousand pounds. I tried to like, I tried to lean against this thing and see how heavy it is. That was stupid. <laughs> The thing didn't move at all. It was like pushing against the ground. You know, or <laughs> I, I thought I could see if it was heavy. <laughs> I've never had a boat before. I've never had a boat. I've had a kayak. I had a kayak. I had a kayak. The mangrove ate that. It was on the back of the boat and it was cleated. <laughs> the next morning, it wasn't cleated. <laughs> I saw it. Saw it up against the mangroves, and that was the same mangroves of Long Key. It took me a while to get out of 21 hours. I was not happy about that, and I said, enjoy your meal. And I looked back a few hours later, and the damn thing was gone. I don't know what happened to it, but weird. It ain't the thing. I ain't going to look for it. I ain't going around that place, now, at least for a little while. But the plan is I'm going to go back and take you guys with me and show you what I did and how I got out. But it's gonna be a big surprise. Oh, we go. Anyway, so I'm back at the boat. Here's your water. Beautiful here, and look at that, it's so clear. I mean, it's not that deep, it's up to my thigh, like I said. Good days. You can see 25, 30 feet, maybe better than that. That's how far I've seen. That's how deep the bottom was, like about 25 feet, because I pulled my anchor and I had to, uh, I had to uh, pressurize. That was my first time I went that deep, and I knew how deep it was. And I've been in deeper and haven't seen anything yet, but I don't know how deep that was because I had I didn't go in the water and check it how deep it was. I didn't dive down, you know. But I was anchored out pretty far, in, and that was right after the incident. And I was worn out. And I haven't done as much diving at all. I'm just trying to get my body back in shape. Getting out of the mangroves in 21 hours. If you don't know what mangroves are, don't go in the mangroves. I got out. You won't get out. You won't. I promise. I have a lot of experience in weird stuff and weird situations and getting my butt out. And you probably don't. That's why I'm making a YouTube to show you these weird things I get into. And I don't know why, but hey, I could show you and show you how to get out as I'm doing it. I'm not a survivor, man. Nothing like that. My mom tried to say that. But I was like, no, that's not really what I am. Because I kind of get in these things. And it's just like, oh gosh, here I am. I didn't plan on it. And it becomes sometimes a survival situation. I've been in a few. I, 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 I like to tend to think it was my goofball mistake that got me there, but in all reality, it is all God's will. It's even God's will that I'm here making this video.